Welcome back to Mac Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to bake a lovely coconut cake. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and also click that notification bell. The ingredients for this coconut cake will be down in the description box so you guys can go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. Here's your ingredients to make that lovely coconut cake. I'll be using one teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla essence, I'll be using one teaspoon of mixed spice, half teaspoon of salt, one cup of coconut drizzle, I'll be using four eggs. Also, you're gonna need some unsalted butter. You're gonna need one can of coconut milk. And right here I got some coconut flour. I'll be using two cups of that. And here I'll be using one cup of my coconut sugar. Now I'm gonna start out by melting my unsalted butter. This guy is gonna need one cup of unsalted butter before you start out to make your coconut cake. I'm just gonna put this into my microwave. Melt it for about a minute or two. Yes, guys. Now, guys, after melting your butter into the microwave for about two minutes, you're gonna add it to your basin. Just like this, guys. After you add it to your basin, now you're gonna add it to your cup of sugar to it. Guys, if you don't have this kind of sugar that I have coconut sugar you can use white granulated sugar now guys when you add in your uh, one cup of sugar you're gonna get your cake mixer if you don't have a cake mixer you can use a, a whisk and whisk it this guy's what I'm using my cake mixer to mix this up I'm just gonna mix this for about a minute or two this guy so you get that nice creamy texture Meanwhile, you're mixing it, now you're gonna start to add your eggs in. You're just gonna add them in bit by bit. Slice, quarter time. You want to make a lovely cream texture. Now I'm gonna add in the next two now. Okay. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna have it guys. I'm gonna finish mixing this now. Mixing up my, my egg and my sugar and my butter. Guys, the reason why my pizza have this brown look is because of my coconut brown sugar. Normally it would be creamy. Have this yellow creamy look. Now I'm just gonna put this to the side. separate basin and I'm going to start with my flour so I'm using two cups of my organic coconut flour yes guys if you don't have coconut flour you can use your all purpose flour to make, to make this coconut cake guys just like that guys there you have it two cups of the coconut flour now you're gonna add your baking powder in you're gonna add in your salt also your mixed spice your cinnamon and also your shredded coconut this guys we just gonna mix those around now just like that guys I'm just gonna give that a good mix this guys just like that there you have it now after finish mixing up my flour with all those ingredients that I put in there now I'm just gonna add a bit of about half of my flour inside of my mixture. 
mixture that I was mixing before. I'm just going to give that a mix now. Just guys, I've finished mixing that for about a minute. Now you're just going to add some more of your flour in. Just, just going to add it gradually, guys, as you go along. Mix again, about next minute. So, guys, now I'm just going to add in the rest of the flour. Spatula, just clean down the sides. The reason why I have this brown look, guys, is because I use that brown coconut sugar. Just add, this is nice. I'm just gonna add in my vanilla. I'm also gonna add half cup of. mixing my butter now I'm just gonna put this one side and I'm just gonna take my light sunflower oil spray oil my tin so I'm gonna do that make sure you oil the side and everywhere I'm gonna take your brush and spread that around my guys So you don't want your cake to stick to the bottom of your baking tin. So we're gonna get some flour. And just spread it inside of the two guys. So I'm gonna just shake it around like this. Make sure you get it on the side too guys. baking tin just like that the flour and your oil just good. now after finish greasing your tin with your oil and your flour you're going to preheat your oven for about five minutes at 350 degrees fahrenheit or 170 degrees celsius gas mark four this guy's going to preheat it for about five minutes before you put your cake in now in the meanwhile your oven is preheated you can just add your cake mixture into your tin in the meanwhile that's preheating your oven Like that. Now, guys, 
guys, my oven is preheated. It's ready for my cake. Guys, when I put it in your cake, you want to put it right in the, in the middle of your oven. Yes, guys, just like that. See you back when my cake is finished. Now, guys, my cake is finished. It's ready to come out after that hour in the oven. Yes, guys. So you want your cake to look. It's finished now, guys. Now here's my lovely coconut cake as I take it out of the oven a while ago guys. You can see. Now I'm just gonna leave it here to cool for about 15 to 20 minutes before I take it out my baking tin. This guys is smelling so lovely. I can't wait to have a piece of this cake. Now my cake is cool after that 15 to 20 minutes. Now guys take your cake out of the tin. You wanna get a knife and slide it around the edge. Just like that guys, just make sure you slide it around, release it from off the sides, just like that guys. And I'm just gonna release it from my tin now, so guys simple and easy, just like that. This guys, there you have it, that's my coconut cake. Now I'm just gonna turn, turn over the cake to take off the bottom piece. So guys, that's how you want to do it. Simple and easy. Just like that, guys. That's the bottom bit of my baking tin. Yes, guys. I'm gonna get a clean plate like this, guys. Put it like that. And just spin it back over. There you have it. That's how you release your coconut cake from your baking tin or whatever cake you bake yes guys I'm telling you guys this cake is smelling so lovely I can't wait to have a slice of it it's smelling so awesome now guys look what I found in my cupboard it's a vanilla icing guys this is optional you don't have to add it to your cake but I'm adding it to mine I'm just going to put it in the microwave to warm for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll start to pour it on it I'm also going to add some open a drizzle on the top of it guys you don't have you don't have to add it guys it's as i said before it's optional it's up to you guys if you want to put ice in top of your coconut cake it's up to you guys now guys in the meanwhile my vanilla icing is in the microwave i'm just going to remove this cake from my plate just like that guys put a ton of metal thing like this i'm just going to put it back over the plate guys so when i pour my icing in it will go back into inside of the plate yes, guys. now here you have it guys my icing is warm so that's seven minutes in the microwave and i'm just gonna pour this on top of my coconut cake now just like that guys i'm just gonna pour it on the run down on the side Take your coconut drizzle. Just turn it over, guys. Just like that. So you want to sprinkle your coconut drizzle. So you prepare your coconut cake with your icing, and also your coconut drizzle. Thanks for watching my gourmet kitchen. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this beautiful coconut cake. It's smelling so lovely. I can't wait to taste it, guys. Hit me up in the comment section. Yes, guys. Until next time.